The US poetry is one of the most sought out poetry throughout the world because of the introduction of technology. They also have uh, great science that has gone behind, which has given them some phenomenal and consistent product. Also, they are governed by very stringent laws and procedures which have been defined by USDA, which is the Department of Agriculture, which takes care of every step right from the birds hatching till the time it's marketed and till the time it reaches the end consumer. Well, you're assured of a 100% quality produce if it's from the US poultry and that is assurance from USDA. Okay. Well, to start off with, today I'd like to touch upon duck. Uh, duck is one of um, one of those poultries which is yet to catch up in India. Well, duck from the US is a breed called as Pekin. All right, don't mistake Pekin and Pekin. Pekin is the white duck variety which actually comes, which is known for its flavor, which is known for its flavor profiles and its intense uh, combination uh, and it retains its, you know, its freshness, it retains all of its goodness in it. Well, it's a great source of antioxidants. It's a great source of vitamin E. It has a lot of niacin and psyllium, which makes it one of the meats which gives you an overall health benefit. Well, to also clear myths, I like to say that the meat of a duck is very lean, all right? The actual fat is only in the skin. The meat is very lean. Duck meat has lesser fat and lesser saturated fat compared to other meats because the fat is actually in the skin. So people who are on diet, people who are health conscious, people who uh, like to control the calories should go for the duck because it's, the duck meat is extremely lean. More so ever, Duck meat is also considered red meat. And when you when it's red meat, it's unlike other poultry like a chicken or a turkey, which is considered white meat. This can be cooked to different dunnesses. This can be cooked even pink. It can be served. So the moment you cook it to a, one, a 165 Fahrenheit, it's good to go. And that's what they suggest. And that's what you know any chef would really want to do. Well, another thing that I like to talk about is because of the versatility of this product because it can be substituted with not just you know uh, traditional dishes where uh, duck has to be used. It can be used right you know as a substitute for tenderloin. It can be used a good substitute uh, for lamb as well. And the same dishes that you actually make uh, with other meats can easily be made with this duck. Well, I'd like to talk about the whole process. Now, in terms of how they govern this, there are very stringent laws which have been specified by uh, the USDA. The bird, right from the moment it actually hatches, every part of it is recorded, every part of it is actually controlled, and there are stringent laws and steps which need to be followed at every step of the bird right from the moment it hatches. The feed is controlled. The feed is also been specified by the USDA as to what uh, you know are the important vitamins and the minerals that bird actually has to get for optimum growth. The US bird actually comes frozen uh, and that's how it's shipped into a lot of countries. The reason why it is frozen uh, is because it keeps really well and the moment it's actually processed it's immediately packed all right it's checked by uh, stringent laws and once the bird actually falls under all parameters it's immediately frozen and then shipped to different places around the globe people would always question frozen meat but I could assure you and a person who has actually used this extensively that it is as good as as good as it can get and nobody would say if it's thawed in the right way 
and at the same time cooked in the right way. Well, frozen food is a new convenience. Frozen food gives you the convenience of using the produce whenever you wish and feel like. Uh, you know, it gives you, it, it, it basically does not take away from the nutrition, it does not take away from any of those factors, plus it also gives you the liberty of time to be used whenever you want. The way US poultry and especially the duck is thawed is what is recommended is for it to be thawed in a refrigerator uh, because that helps retain the juices and at the same time the bird thaws in a way uh, so there's no thermal shock to the bird. Well, if you also wish to and if you're in you know any sort of urgency another way to do it is to do it in running water and it will usually a duck would take anywhere between 30 to 35 minutes but what is recommended because of the fat which is in the skin is it to be thawed in a refrigerator and usually that would take anywhere between 12 to 18 hours frozen food also helps wastage because what happens is you could only use as much as you want Okay, it does not tell you that you need to use all of it, it you know, so it helps you control portions and it also helps you keep the remaining and use it at a later date. Now let's talk about the yield of duck. Honestly, I've been in this industry cooking for almost 21 years. Now let me tell you that the duck which I happen to use you know I also happen to be in Atlanta for a chef seminar where a lot of chefs had come from different parts of the country Indian chefs from different parts of the country and also US chefs and we all all had to brainstorm and come up with dishes and come up with new cooking techniques and new styles of cooking and I must tell you this duck stood out all right and that's an assurance that it can give you that the quality of this produce is by far as good as it can get and by far I do not see anything even coming close to the quality consistency to a US poultry and a US uh, duck. In terms of yield, let me tell you that the yield that you would get uh, from a US bird is very consistent. Uh, usually when you are using a batch of birds, you would, you know, plus or minus 2 or 3 percent is what uh, usually a stock of birds would have. So that basically helps you control the uh, uh, portion sizes, that helps you control the cooking style, you know, it won't vary. So imagine if you were roasting duck and you just had to put it in the oven, uh, you could be assured that all of your ducks of the same batch would cook at the same time because it's so controlled and it's sorted in a way that it actually helps chef get out and produce like none other. Well, I also like to talk about duck as a commodity which can be used in Indian cuisine. Well, there are not a lot of uh, states which, you know, though duck is not very prevalent in Indian cuisine, uh, it is a meat that we should consider. It is a meat which is much healthier. It is a meat uh, which has intense flavors and it can actually take, uh, you know, the flavors of the spices, the flavors of all the garam masalas and all of it and actually help retain those without actually taking away from uh, the fat uh, of the, you know, without taking away from the action main product produce itself. Duck can also be used, well the US duck can also be used for innovative dishes. It can be also used for dishes like burgers. Uh, you know, and I'm honestly telling you, uh, I have tried burgers with duck meat. It's something different which people haven't experienced because the quality of duck is such, you know, the quality of fat is such, the consistency of uh, the fat and the evenness of fat, you know, helps uh, thing. Even when you actually roast uh, these ducks, you could be assured that these ducks uh, roast extremely even and the skin, which is the most uh, prized 
uh, thing of uh, you know roasting a duck especially for a peaking duck uh, you know the skin is the most prized thing and you know people which would actually relish the skin more than anything you could be assured that the skin that you would get the crispness that you would get would be uniform throughout the bird the white peking duck is actually extremely nutritious they are very low in fat and most of the fat is actually in the skin of the bird so people who are diet conscious and people who want less fat all they have to do is remove the skin and use the meat i like to mention that 3 ounces of meat would just give you 2 grams of fat and in fact 0.5 grams of saturated fat the meat is extremely high in iron which is very important for brain functions and also boost immune immunity uh, it's also extremely high in niacin and selenium which actually helps in body metabolism and also helps your immune system i like to talk about the storage of the birds right from the moment the birds are processed they are immediately packed and frozen and then they sent to different locations throughout the world uh usda governs and have very stringent rules and regulations which actually monitor every step of how they move to the end consumers the duck usually keeps extreme the frozen duck keeps very well for 2 years and if it's thawed should be used within 3 to 4 days a bird in the pack itself can keep very well to up to 2 weeks mm -hmm.